Hey guys, we got a bunch of requests from you guys. This is the Ryobi 18 volt one plus brushless seven and a quarter inch circular saw, the P508. We're gonna open it up, take a look at what's inside and give it a try. Stay tuned. All right guys, thanks again for everyone who commented and requested this tool. As always, we're gonna take a look at the box and then we'll open it up and see what we have inside. All right guys, first up on the box, it does have the brushless motor. So that means longer run time, more power and longer motor life. Next, it does feature the LED light to illuminate the workstation. It has a seven and a quarter inch blade and includes the 24 tooth carbide tip blade. Additionally, it features the trademark grip zone grip. It has the zero to 56 degree bevel, no load speed of 3,800 RPMs, can cut up to two and seven sixteenth inches and weighs in just over six and a half pounds. All right guys, that's it for the box specs. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up the box here. Pretty simple on this one. Pull out the saw. That's it in the box. We have the saw itself, the blade, and the operator's manual. All right guys, so pretty simple here. We've got the saw, the blade, and the operator's manual. Now what's nice about this saw is it does include the blade changing tool. So back here on the back, there's the hex tool to change out the blade. And there's a blade lock right here where we can lock or hold the blade in place so we don't need two wrenches or tools in order to change out the blade. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put the blade on here. Now in order to protect the teeth during transit and to protect the packaging and anything else it might contact, the blade does have a little plastic or rubber housing. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off here. And being very careful because this is extremely sharp with these carbide tip. Next, we'll go ahead and take out the bolt so that we can put the blade in place. Again, in order to tighten and loosen, we need to hold the spindle lock, which is on the top here. So we're gonna press down on the spindle lock and find where that lock is. Again, remember that this is opposite. So counterclockwise actually tightens and clockwise will loosen this bolt. Take that out there. And for this, we have to hold the blade guard out of the way. We will carefully pick up the blade itself, slide the blade into place. Now with the blade in place, we can put back on the bolt, that into place. And again, remembering to go in a opposite direction. So we will go counterclockwise to tighten that. Once we get that about finger tight, we can go ahead and hold the spindle lock. Make sure that blade is not rotating there. And then we can tighten the blade. Now we can put the tool back inside the keeper so that we've got that safe and we're ready to go. All right guys, for the first cut, we've just marked a two foot section of this standard framing two by four. Now in order to take advantage of the brushless saw's full potential, we have the lithium plus battery. This is the four amp hour P108 battery. We'll go ahead and put this in here, locked into place and then set up here for the cut. There we go. So guys, to test this blade a little bit, what we're gonna do is 
we've clamped the two x four to the table here and using the standard blade that comes with this, the 24 tooth blade, we're gonna go ahead and just rip a few cuts here. So not too bad. Next up, what we're gonna do is put on the Diablo 24 tooth, seven and a quarter inch blade. This was as per recommendation from Ichiban 2.0. So we'll go ahead and install the blade in the saw and then do the same rip cuts. All right, guys, we've got the Diablo blade on now. A couple things to note or to be aware of. One thing is you wanna be careful with the Ryobi blade it has the print on the outside. So when you install the blade, you can see all of the writing. With the Diablo blade, the print is on the inside. So the direction of the teeth is opposite to what the Ryobi blade is. So all you see is the red face. So make sure you don't install the blade backwards and try and match the, the words the same way with the Diablo blade. So. One thing to note there. The other thing I wanna point out or comment on is the process to change the blade is already my least favorite thing about this saw. While it's really convenient to have the change tool mounted on the back, the size of the hex tool is not very long, which puts the hex right next to the shoe of your saw. And the spindle lock is in a really strange place to hold. So it takes quite a bit of pressure to push that in and to get the blade to lock and hold all of this together all at the same time while trying to crank on the bolt or the hex here is very annoying or uncomfortable. So hopefully you're not having to change the blade very often, which I don't, but if you had to change the blade often, that could get very annoying or somewhat annoying, or maybe you'd figure out a way to do it a little bit better. But just in the little time I've been playing with it, that is definitely my least favorite thing about the saw so far. Regardless though, now we do have the Diablo blade on. So what we'll do is go ahead and do a couple of those rip cuts and show you what that looks like. <laughs> All right guys, now not that this is a good comparison, but this is the five and a half inch blade, the Ryobi P506, but I want you to have the chance to hear the difference between the brushless and the brushed saw. <sighs> Also worth noting is this is the standard 18 tooth blade that came with the saw originally. All right guys, so that's just a sample of a couple of two by four cutoffs there with the brushless and the non-brushless five and a half and seven and a quarter inch. While we have the two together here, just gonna point out some of the differences, some of the improvements. Obviously the first difference being the size, the new brushless is the seven and a quarter inch blade, which means not only is it bigger, it's also heavier just the unit itself. When you add in the battery, it is definitely considerably heavier than the older five and a half inch model. Otherwise, as far as handles go, the feel of both of them are really good. The grip zone is really nice and comfortable on both models, feel good in your hand. Another difference is that the older five and a half P506 model has the laser, where the new model does not have a laser. However, it does have the light on the front. Now, I didn't notice it so much in this first application. However, there are times when I'm working in low light situations where I believe the light could be useful. And in all honesty, the laser hasn't been extremely useful. While it's nice to get a general idea, for an exact cut, you really have to be monitoring the blade. So the laser is rendered somewhat useless or, or more as a general rule of thumb than an actual guide. So guys, although it has improved over previous models, 
This brushless tool is definitely not the professional or top of the line tool. However, it is slowly approaching on that professional or at least somewhere in the middle of the professional to DIY category. And I'm really excited to try it out on some other applications. As far as things that I don't like already, as I had mentioned, changing the blade is almost painful to do. The placement of the lock and using this small tool. I actually stopped using this while I was changing the blade and, and opted for one of my bigger hex because using it next to the shoe is nearly impossible. So I opted for one of my own. Another thing that I did notice already is that the auto load cutoff did engage even on the two by four. and we haven't even tested it on plywood or thicker four by fours or anything else. But just on the two by fours already, I have noticed that it starts to cut out or it has that auto cut out. So that might get annoying or might be frustrating to use. But again, we'll do some future tests with this saw and show you guys what we think. That's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and just like everyone that commented and requested this tool, make sure you leave a comment below to let us know what tool you want to see next. And make sure to check out our website for how to register for our tool giveaway. Thanks for watching.